So you said that vendors are constantly looking for people to be in, in these panels. Mm -hmm. Why should an MSP want to do this? So, I mean, I'll give you a great example. Um, well, one, I think it's a good place to practice. You know, you're not in your, you're not necessarily on a panel. Like if I'm asking an MSP to be on a panel, they're speaking to other, they're speaking to their peers. It's not end users typically. Mm -hmm. Um, but it is a place to hone your skill set. It's also a way to use it as a marketing tool for yourself, right? Like I said, like, hey, Steve, you're on this panel with ConnectWise or somebody you could say, or Datto. You're able to show, you're able to take a snippet of that and say, hey, I had an awesome time being featured on the panel at DattoCon and show that to your community on LinkedIn. And again, they're seeing you now out there. The, the one example that comes to my mind, I've shared this a couple of times, Lisa Shore, um, who's an MSP, but she also has a business called Shore Success. And I thought was, what she was doing was really interesting. And I had her on a, one of our panels and then Dan ended up having him, uh, having Lisa on another panel inside powered services. And then IT Glue decided to feature her on a GlueX talk. And then she got featured at GlueX, the event, it, it, it snowballs. And that's just within one vendor that was all under Kaseya. I mean, imagine then if others noticed and start bringing that person in and that, and that's why I think it's a really important thing to do is to put yourself out there because it can, it can really snowball into a lot more opportunities. And again, taking that and showing your audience, Hey, like I'm, I'm considered a thought leader in my own community. And this is why you should listen to me. Now, some people might think it's vain or things like that, but it's, it's marketing. I mean, that's, that, yeah, I mean, I don't know if you have any thoughts on that, but that uh, that's the way I saw it. I agree with you a hundred percent. And I think that's why, you know, most own, most MSPs or service providers start with owner led sales teams. And the reason that that happens is because that's exactly what they're doing. They're usually a presence in the local business community. They're on councils, they're being featured on panels, all of those types of things. Um, and that's how they're out there. That's how they're building those relationships in a very organic manner. And they have that credibility and that's how sales come through the door. So um, it's the first step on it is definitely the hardest. Um, and I can I could speak on that from experience. Uh, but I think once you kind of open the door, as Matt said, it all it all just starts to to flow, basically. What? Um... Gosh, I got to get your website back up here. So, so I see you've got a few other things that you guys are, are doing. So channel explorer, what is this? So that is something we're going to be launching in the next two weeks. Okay. Uh, it's kind of the second phase of our channel program. And I would describe it in a way, uh, combination of LinkedIn and YouTube for the channel, but really heavily focused on the video component of it. And again, the idea is to, on both sides of the ecosystem, give more people a voice. And again, this stems back to what I was saying about, I want to hear from more MSPs. Um, I want to hear from more people on the, on the emerging vendor side. So on the MSP side. If you're somebody who does, and there are a lot of MSPs who want to be considered thought leaders among their own peers, we're seeing this a lot more lately, uh, but maybe don't have the platform for it. Right. And we want to try to give them a bigger platform. And so it's putting out video content that you think would be, um, something that your, your community cares about, um, you know, on the technical, technical side, it might even be just, Hey, I found this thing in. XYZ vendor, this is an easier way to do it. You know, the how to videos. I mean, we see YouTube's full of that, uh, but we think we can have that in this community and then on the vendor side, you know, not every vendor can travel the way other vendors can, not every vendor can afford to speak at events the way other vendors can, especially in the very early stages. And so giving more people an opportunity to create a thought leadership, uh, space for themselves, uh, also more people within an organization. So I would tell, say to you, you know, when I was at ID agent, I was the person 
at all the events. So a lot of people thought I owned the company, but that wasn't the truth. Kevin Lancaster owned the company. And if I had a platform like this today, I would say, Kevin, why don't you start putting out videos from more of the entrepreneur CEO level and see if that resonates with the MSP owners. And I'll do more of the boots on the ground events, that type of marketing. And Amy, you go do something around more of the operational marketing and, and whatnot. It, you know, we'll all find our own little voice and we're going to resonate with different audiences. But guess what? We're going to all elevate the brand of channel program this way. And the same thing would go for a, another vendor that's coming out. Everybody that's, you know, starting to put out good content, educational content is going to elevate their brand. I agree with that. And, and Steve, whether it's channel pitch or channel cash or explore, everything that we're doing is geared around three key objectives. Number one is helping IT service providers grow. Number two is increasing meaningful communication and collaboration between the service providers and the vendors. And then third is really supporting technical colleagues through uh, community and thought leadership. And, and so each of the things, whether it's, like I said, Explorer or Cash, they, they each hit some of those objectives. Some hits one more than others. You know, another hits a different one more than others. But all of them are really geared towards accomplishing those three goals, which we feel are very positive and uplifting for the industry as a whole. 